Happy New Year. Happy New Year, girlfriends. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year. This, is so good. this is so good. Oh, my goodness. It's so good to see everybody. Wow, 2020. That's big, you guys. A brand new decade. We're going to jump right in. I'm so excited to be with my girlfriends. And the topic today is goal setting. Oh, my goodness. We are goal diggers. Not gold diggers. Now, some of my girlfriends out there, I know y'all gold diggers, but we are gold digging today. Girlfriends, are you setting new resolutions? Are you just setting some goals? What do you have going on for the new year? Gloria, you always got something going on. Talk to Let me tell you I am so pumped about 2020. I just can't get this out of my head. It's going to be the roaring 2020s, the roaring 2020s. And it's a new decade. I was telling people that I think you know that the last couple of days is the most reflective time for everybody they just think about what's going on and so to me I want to tell all my girlfriends out there including my girlfriends here I get juiced by the goals that my girlfriends know about you guys if you've been watching us I've been talking all day long about I'm vegan my name is Gloria Mayfield Banks I'm vegan my name is Gloria Mayfield Banks I'm vegan and that's keep me accountable. So I'm be girlfriends with you. I'm a vegan again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on. I'm okay. back on. Okay. The other thing I'm super, super excited about, and my girlfriends, all of y'all out there that keep me accountable. And so the strategy first is tell everybody who you care about. Don't worry about people who don't believe in you. Tell the people that you care about and that care about you and will lift you up. My second piece is, is that find something that you're totally passionate about. I am so incredibly passionate about women making more. And they say, like, Lauren, why are you so passionate about that? Because you can't give what you don't have. If you don't have more joy, you can't give joy. If you don't have more energy, you can't give energy. And if you don't have more money, which is what I'm talking about, you can't give any of it. So I think being bold, being passionate, saying it out loud, lets people cause you to be accountable. And your girlfriends, the minute you switch from that, they will yank you up and say, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing? I thought you said it was going to be like this. And so I love that part of it. The other piece I would tell people, and this is so big for me, is that I've always said, put signs all around your house. I got, when I open up my, um, cabinet where I get some water, you know, get my glasses for water. There's a sign right there. I really do what I teach. And there's signs around my house that will cause me to refocus when I start to get distracted. Because I don't know about you all, but the world is full of distractions. Mm -hmm. Full of distractions, girlfriends. Our family, mm -hmm. our social media, our email. Every time I turn around, it's ding, 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 ding. So that's what I want to bring y'all this morning. Girlfriends, it's Happy New Year, Sabrina. Oh, my goodness. Well, girlfriends do matter. That's why we got to have girlfriends, you guys, who keep you on the right track. <laughs> and boy, you said it. Life. Life is a distraction. My goodness. You'll be going down the road, and bam, something's going to hit you. Life is a distraction. Katrina, you're so good at separating the yeses and the noes. In this new year, talk to us about the power of yes and no. Awesome. Well, I'm telling you, not only are you guys my girlfriends, but you are my goal friends. And you really have helped me. I mean, you helped me say yes and no to some men. You helped me say yes to <laughs> a lot of things. But um, I mean, Gloria and I, we just had lunch the other day. And, and the power of yes and the power of no, how you spend your time. Time invested in one area is time taken from another area. And as women of faith, we know that we have a calling. And sometimes when our plate seems too full, it's because you put some stuff on your plate that God didn't intend to be there. And part of what girlfriends do is help, help hold you accountable, you know? And honestly, I mean, I love my husband. He's a, you know, a man of faith who often taps me on the shoulder and asks me questions. But sometimes even the men in our lives don't totally get it like our goal friends, our girlfriends, just saying, you know what, girl, you know, is being on every committee really going to help you? <laughs> As Gloria has always said, sometimes the church would prefer your check <laughs> than your time, right? Uh, my goal is, is both, but there's nothing like being able to support a cause with your success. So you got to be clear, girlfriends. You have to, the power of yes and the power of no is just really what God has called you to. He will give you capacity to, capacity for, and he'll give you time for. But don't put yourself on every committee and don't be so quick to say yes, say yes, say yes. That does not mean, it's not powerful to just be the yes person if God has not called you to do that. Be comfortable. We all yeah, that, it, right? 
That's so good, Katrina. The power of yes and no and having the courage and the confidence to be okay with it. That's really big going into 2020. Well, we're going out to Stone Mountain, Georgia. Girlfriend, North Street Borden. How are you, Nora? Happy New Year. Can you hear me? We got yes, We got you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Boy, was I challenged this morning. <laughs> what are you asking me, Sabrina? Well, for the new year, I know you're always so grounded. You always make time to keep the main thing the main thing. God first, family second, career third. Talk to us about finding time for God. Um, you know, for me, I just, I set aside a time. So I'm up at 5 a.m. That's not everybody's time, but I think that you need to set that time aside to have that quiet time with him. For me, five o'clock is good because it's quiet in the house. Nobody's, you know, making any noise. The birds ain't even up yet. <laughs> and then I have it, you know, so that helps me to connect with God and to help me stay clear and, and focus on what I need to be focused on for the day. And I, and I feel like I can hear his voice and get some direction. And then I do like a checklist that helps me stay focused as I, you know, complete them, you know. And so as I do that, I set that, that checklist for me and I check it off as I do it. And, you know, I work really hard not to set anything over for the next day, but then that puts more on my plate. So it helps me to really, really stay focused when I have that checklist. So obviously God is the first person on that checklist. And then I go down the list. I put time slots. I think putting time slots in there helps me to figure, you know, I have Within this, within this time frame, and I'm not going to go over. I'm going to do it within that front time frame, cut it off, and it just helps me to stay centered and focused. I'm like disembogulated when I don't do that. When I'm checklist. It's like when I'm when I'm traveling. You know what it means. You, I never leave any shoes. I ain't going to say. Oh. <laughs> you know everything. Everything is everything on that check. So for me, going forward, I think it's important. If you're one of those people that are all over the place, do a checklist. It, you know, it really helps. Spiritual time is so important, you guys. That quiet time, you got to have it. It's your center. It's our center. So it's great. Right. We want to encourage everybody to find your center. And for some of you, you know, we're not saying you got to get up at five in the morning because I'm not part of that club. But <laughs> I do find my time. I do find my time. Five in time, you guys, it makes such a difference. Well, you know, it's all about mind, body, and soul into this new year. What about the body, Chrisette? Physical exercise. You're so good. You're so consistent. Talk to us about that. Oh, my goodness. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. You know what, you guys? I'm sure that when you think about New Year's resolutions, one of the things that is probably at the top of the list is I need to lose a few pounds. We've been, uh, we just got out of Thanksgiving and we ate and ate and ate. Then we went to Christmas and we ate some more. And then New Year's, we ate a little bit more. And I promise you, I'm sitting here and it's a little budge uh, in my pants, are a little bit tighter. So I'm sure that <laughs> exercise is at the top of so many people's list of New Year's resolutions. So I just really wanna just give you some really quick reasons why getting active is important. The best way, you guys, to keep your body and your mind in top shape is through physical activity. You can't get around it. I wish you could, but you just can't. And this is the great thing about exercising. Everybody can do it. It doesn't matter, you know, what condition you are in. You know, if it's, if it's just going for a leisurely walk, get, getting up and getting out, is definitely a must and then you know what you guys you want to definitely make sure that you are following the guidelines for your age and the type of exercises you should do for your age but i want to give you five reasons why really quickly that you want to exercise the first one is it builds your aerobic power i didn't even realize this but we lose one percent of our aerobic power, and that is the capacity for your body's ability to work at maximum capacity by using the oxygen in the air. We use, we lose 1% every year. So we gotta exercise so that we can maintain some of that. You don't wanna be winded. And then it reduces your blood, your blood pressure, it lowers your type two diabetes, and it maintains your immune system. So you guys, there's so many reasons to get up and to get out. So many different apps, you guys. One of the ones that I would recommend is 8Fit. 
and it shows you all these different exercises you can do. You guys, in just a few minutes. Oh my goodness. So I'm telling you, get up, get out, and get moving in the new year. All right. Oh my goodness. Girlfriends, I can't believe our time is about up. But this is all about moving the mind, moving the body, moving the soul. We know we're going to be better in 2020. It's all about becoming better. I can't believe our time is up, you guys. We wish you the happiest, most prosperous new year in every way. We love you guys. Tune in soon. Oh, we're, we're, tell them how to go to our website. Yes, yes, yes. Please make sure you share this. We want to know your goals. We want to know some of the goals. And who keeps you accountable? Who are your goal friends? So share this. Even start a watch party with your girlfriends. And be sure you can uh, visit our website at theforceoffriendship.com and follow us, of course, here on Facebook and Instagram. So we will see you Friendship <laughs> Friday. Every Friday we are here. Join us. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.